I wanted to do a video about this, and I'm also going to do a live stream on all DC everything. Uh, talk about comic books, but also talk about uh, the movies in general. Um, and also the future and everything between on that whole lucky door shit. Uh, but the facts are I watch a friend of mine named Truth, great channel, good friend of mine. He does great videos on DC uh, content and um, he complained about Warner Brothers doesn't want to release the whole numbers on the Zack Snyder Justice League movie on HBO Max. They don't want to do it. They don't want to release it because it only shows that they only give a shit is about them not Zack. And that's another thing too, which honestly, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me that they don't want to release the numbers on Zack Snyder's Justice League because if they did, it would only show to them that they pretty much fucked over this universe and honestly, it's only going to cave in to those people who want to restore this universe. To continue with this universe. And they don't want to continue. And that's the point. And I really honestly am going to say this. All they care about is yes men. All they give a shit is yes men. They want yes men. They want us to break. And they honestly don't understand. It's going to fuck with them to the very end. The moment they release the numbers of this film, it's only going to prove that drumbeat. It's only going to be more and more and more and more beating that drum, beating that drum, beating that drum. Because if they cave into us once, they'll do it again. Once you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to get a glass of milk and they're going to say, uh, I want a cookie. And they're going to... Warner Bros. saying, I don't want to give you a cookie. I don't want to give you a cookie. All right, fine. Give you a cookie. I'll oh, shut up. Uh, I want a glass of milk. Game fucking over when you do that. Because now you're letting the... Yours truly, your enemy, dictate what you put out. You fucked yourself, Warner Brothers. You fucked yourself. And you, and I'm going to say this right now. You know. You know. If you release the numbers, the viewership of Zack Snyder's Justice League, it will be records. Records. Worldwide. And it will be so huge. People will even more demand you. Restore the universe. Restore the universe. Give Zack Snyder the keys. Give Zack the keys to the kingdom, to this universe. It's not that hard. But like I said, all they care is yes men. If it's not benefit us, you're fired. It's exactly their motto. It's exactly their motto. Anyone that doesn't see that, it's got a fucking problem. Anyone that doesn't see that they don't care about the Snyderverse fans. They don't care about us DC fans that want this universe to grow, that want a competitor to Marvel to be better to Marvel, to push Marvel to be even more better. They choose not to do that. They choose the worst way of doing things. They chose the worst way of doing their DC movies and going forward and everything between on that but instead to continue this universe they want to fucking kill it they want to kill it because if it's not us that made it we're gonna fucking destroy it this is exactly what the problem of your studio that does not care about your property that's where we see we're seeing a studio that does not care about a property that really could make them so much money but they don't care 
All they give a shit is yes, man. Yes, I will obey my master. I will obey my master. My master, I will do what you want. You want to have a new Batman instead of continuing Ben Affleck's Batman. Okay, we'll do that. We'll have a uh, black Superman with J.J. Abrams producing it and his team of crew. Along with Justly Dark. Who's gonna watch that? Who's gonna really give a shit about that? Unfucking believable. I have never seen a studio. Like hell, it makes 20th Century fuckface before Disney bought their asses. Make them look good. That's how bad they're gonna be. And God forbid they ruin the Black Adam film. God forbid if they ruin the Shazam sequels, the Aquaman sequels, the third Wonder Woman movie. It's just like they're gonna keep going in this for goddamn dog shit film universe and they're slowly gonna kill it and when they do kill it by flashpoint if it ever does work and it lets you see how that goes because god forbid that movie is gonna be a disaster waiting to happen and it's gonna be clusterfuck of fan service and zero good storytelling but yet again i could be proven wrong on that movie i have zero hopes on that film I have zero hopes for the third Wonder Woman movie. I have zero hopes for Aquaman 2. I have zero hopes almost literally everything except three movies. The Black Adam movie, the Shazam sequels, hopefully they don't fuck it up, and the Robert Pattinson Batman movie. That's the only thing. Hell, I would even dare say the Robert Pattinson Batman movie is probably going to save their asses. Because it's going to be a good movie. Good story. Good direction. Good direction on the Batman character. Hell, it might take some, in a way, influence on Ben Affleck's Batman story. Because usually every franchise takes some bits of different uh, material from other films. The MCU took it. They took some uh, influence on Spider-Man 4. If anyone saw that whole... The Vulture's Daughter in Homecoming? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But I mean, God forbid, just just God forbid, they try to do everything they can to kill this universe and they're successful by doing it. That's the worst part. But yet again, once you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to get a glass of milk. It's only going to hurt them in the very end. I will not be surprised if that fuckboy who's running Warner Brothers will be fired less than five years. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, by December 31st, 2025, I will say this, I was wrong. Because honestly, I don't see him lasting that much longer. He is trying so hard, so hard to get rid of this universe. He's only going to fail in the very end. Instead of embracing, instead of looking at this as a money marketing standpoint for his business, he wants to get rid of it because he wants to do his own vision, his own little bullshit. Well, tell you what, buddy. You will fail. Like General Zod said, you're a pack of fucking fools. You think your movies are going to save you? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I guarantee you, you will fail. Anyway, release the numbers. Release it. Release the numbers of Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max. Go ahead, I dare you, Warner Brothers. I guarantee you, the moment that shit happens, you're gonna fucking do everything you can just to fucking, uh, um, um, we're not continuing, we're not continuing, oh, please, no, sure, right. After this movie crashed HBO Max multiple times, multiple times. Unbelievable. It's still crashing till this very day. They're doing 
every single time this movie is getting the praise. This movie is getting the same type of praise as Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. It's exactly, exactly where this movie is getting the hype. People said this is in the same level on that. Which, to be fair, that is very true. It's building on something. Building on something greater. Building on a bigger saga. Yet again, who I'm kidding. I'm just a piece of shit fan who only cares about a property that he wants to continue and you guys don't give a shit. That's why you guys are a pack of fucking fools just like your fucking idiot friends Jeff Johns and Joss Whedon. Oh boy. I'll be dying to see how your black Superman is going to do. Oh, pure comedy is going to be right there. Pure comedy. The racist card is going to go over 9,000 on a character that doesn't deserve it. Unbelievable. You make me sick. You make me so sick I don't want to be a DC fan. But I am a DC fan because I want this universe to grow. If it's going to take five or ten or how many years for you guys to see that, then honestly, I'll do whatever I can to not support you. I will force you to fail. I'll do my part. I don't know about anyone else. But, uh, yeah. I mean, and that's another thing, too. I, I mean, I, I really don't know what else I can say. But yet again, I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight. DC everything. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned on tonight's video. Live stream. DC everything. <laughs>